decision he's leaving Republican Party. After the media war with Donald Trump TV talk show host and ex GOP Florida Representative Joe Scarborough said that he is going to leave the Republican Party. The Morning Joe co host made the announcement while sitting beside his fiancee Mika Brzezinski on the late show with Stephen Colbert. I am a Republican, but I'm not going to be a Republican anymore. Among his reasons listed for the break with the GOP was the so called Muslim ban, although he said that his party has betrayed its core values before Trump came along. I said on the air, it's very simple, it's black and white. I can never vote for anybody in my party that would say they were going to ban people because of the God they worshipped. Scarborough also cited Trump's feigned ignorance of the identity of David Duke as well as the president's claim that Judge Gonzalo Curiel couldn't be fair because he was of Mexican heritage. The Morning Joe co host then said that he has chosen to become an independent. One of the most heated arguments with Donald Trump came recently when the president tweeted out a series of personal attacks on the co-hosts. What do you think of this? Share your opinion. Fed up police commissioner destroys Black Lives Matter during funeral for slain cop, gets standing ovation. James O'Neill the night commissioner has tough luck to serve for the New York City Major. But now he received his award as standing ovations from the troops when he blasted Black Lives Matter for the ignoring of the murder of Myazotis Familia. Commissioner O'Neill spoke at the funeral service for Officer Familia, who was shot in the head in a deliberately targeted, anti-police attack last week. During his comments, O'Neill slammed liberals in Hollywood and other liberal sectors for being wholly absent after this mother of three was gunned down, Conservative Tribune reported. Let me tell you something, O'Neill said from the stage. Regular people sign up to be cops. They sign up for this job of protecting strangers, knowing there are inherent risks. But not one of us ever agreed to be murdered in an act of indefensible hate. Not one of us signed up to never return to our family or loved ones. O'Neill went on saying, So, where are the demonstrations for this single mom, who cared for her elderly mother and her own three children? At that, the room erupted in wall-to-wall -wall applause and the officers there were soon on their feet in appreciation of their commissioner's words. There is anger and sorrow, but why is there no outrage? O'Neill concluded. Because Myazotis was wearing a uniform? Because it was her job? I simply do not accept that. Myazotis was targeted, ambushed, and assassinated. She wasn't even given a chance to defend herself. That should matter to every single person who can hear my voice in New York City and beyond. What do you think of this? Share your I tease over after the media lied about Trump, Lou Dobbs went on TV and exposed their worst nightmare. Whenever President Trump does something awesome, the liberal mainstream media tries to distract everybody with lies. This was the case with his more than successful trip to France. After he returned the media tried so spread lies about Trump and Russia once again. This week it was Don Jr's meeting with a Russian lawyer, next week it will be something else. Well, Lou Dobbs has had enough. He just went on live TV and exposed the media's worst nightmare. Dobbs exposed how the deep state was secretly using the liberal media to try and overthrow Trump. He explained how they are accelerating leaks from within the top levels of government in order to saturate the media with Trump scandals and try to break the will of the American people. Then they'll move in and try and have him removed. What do you think of this? Share your opinion. Democrats destroyed Jesse Waters just ended the Democratic Party with one brutal sentence. A few days ago. Jesse Waters went live on Fox and Friends and said the thing that blew the Democratic Party away. We all know that they spent this year to spread their lies about how President Trump collaborated with the Russians, while they were the ones to do things like that and even worse. During his epic BA down of liberal hack one Williams, Waters reveals that the Democrats are the ones who have actually cozied up with our enemies, not Trump. Obama gave Iran and North Korea billions of dollars. They shook hands with brutal dictators like Castro, and the media even defended IT. 
The Clintons took money from Chinese nationalists during the 96 re-election campaign and then sold our satellite technology to them, and Hillary sold our uranium to the Russians. What do you think of this? Share your opinion. After Mitch McConnell failed to repeal Obamacare, Trump announced the unthinkable. The app reported last night that Mitch McConnell has failed to get the Republican votes to pass the replacement for Obamacare. It was also reported that the bill McConnell was trying to pass didn't fully repeal Obamacare, which is why it failed. After hearing about this, President Trump went on Twitter and announced the unthinkable. President Trump tweeted that Republican leaders should go with his original plan repeal Obamacare fully, then worry about the replacement. This is why people voted for Trump. He understands the art of the Moments ago Mike Pence gave GOP congressman heart attack in this rant going viral. ICE President Mike Pence addressed a strict notice to Republicans in Congress this Tuesday. Pence urged the congressmen to do their jobs, that is revoke Obamacare. Obamacare has failed, and Obamacare must go. Congress needs to do their job, and Congress needs to do their job now. This was Pence's statement at a National Retail Federation summit in Washington, D.C. Pence's warnings follow the reports which announce that Senator Mike Lee of Utah and Jerry Moran of Kansas are going against GOP's bill to change Obamacare. They are not alone. As we already know GOP Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky and Susan Collins of Maine did the same. As Pence stated, inaction is not an option. He proposed a change of the strategy. President Trump and I fully support the majority leader's decision to move forward with a bill that just repeals Obamacare and gives Congress time, as the president said, to work on a new health care plan that will start with a clean slate, H slash T Daily Caller. We would be happy to hear your thoughts and predict. Just in Comey to spend the next five years in prison for doing something terrible against Trump. Democrats are totally slobbering over the last plan scandal. Now they are completely convinced that they possess the smoking gun which will take President Trump down. A few days back, James Comey reached out to the New York Times. He talked about the speculations that Trump requested him to abandon the investigation against his ex-security adviser Michael Flynn. And now, the leftists say that it was obstruction of justice from Trump's behalf. But recently, there was something big revealed connected to Comey's testimony, which might backfire on him and ultimately, get him in prison for up to five years. We all saw the crooked antics of Comey during the last year. It all started with the nonsense regarding Hillary and the indictment. The idea of taking down President Trump, despite being dark, is now proven to be 100% made up. During the testimony, Comey stated that he was not blackmailed from Trump or his administration to stop any investigation for political gains. According to this, Comey ends up to be a liar howsoever. There are two probable case scenarios. He did not tell the truth during his May 3rd testimony under oath before the Senate, a felony, and a jury. He lied in his statement to the New York Times regarding Trump and his memo. He stated that Trump requested Comey to stop the procedures against Michael Flynn. Got news has more, former FBI Director James Comey testified under Senate oath that the Trump administration had not pressured his agency to halt any investigation for political purposes. Comey admitted that the FBI has always been free to operate without political interference, flying in the face of Democrats' paranoid delusions about Russia and President Donald J. Trump, and exposing for what it is a new political witch hunt Wednesday by enemies within the president's own Justice Department. Videotape testimony before the Senate Judiciary Committee blows apart the phony narrative New York Times reporter Michael Schmidt wove on Tuesday, which resulted in Mueller's appointment. Schmidt's only sources were anonymous. They claimed that Trump had asked Comey to end an investigation into Flynn's connections to Russia. Schmidt's allegations that Trump attempted to obstruct justice hinged on the sources' accounts of a memo authored the same day. Schmidt, a Democrat Party lackey, admitted he hasn't even seen the document, dated nearly three months before Comey's testimony that totally contradicts it. We would be happy to hear your thoughts and predictions.